This is confusing. I don't know where step one is. I don't know where step one is. Mate, my hands going all weird. Oh, I'm so ripped, mate. I can't even get on to step number one. I cannot do this. You got it, you got it. I can't do it. Do you think the glasses are too much? No. I think they might be a bit on the nose. Glasses make it, mate. What are you talking about? Ah, right, here's how the show works. In theory. Every episode, one of us will be sober and one of us will be intoxicated. Both trying to accomplish the same task in very different mindsets. Whether it's doing a Bob Ross painting on mushrooms, trying to solve a Rubik's Cube on acid. And we'll try and do them together to see what the effect is. I forgot what the script does. Oh, it's like we wrote this down for a reason. Can you still complete the task? Do you do it to a lesser standard? Do you do it to a better standard? In this instance, today we'll be cooking profiteroles from scratch while stoned. So Sam will be playing the role of the sober in the kitchen and I, I'm gonna be in charge of making profiteroles stoned. In theory, sounds like an interesting show. In practice, it's probably all gonna fall apart. I'm Sam. <laughs> I'm Sam, and believe it or not, I'm going to be cooking profiteroles sober today. So the ingredients we'll be using is unsalted butter, flour, eggs, and a pinch of salt, white sugar, corn flour, milk, and vanilla bean paste. And then finally for the chocolate drizzle, we'll be using dark chocolate and a cup of cream. So there's three stages of this. Should be pretty straightforward. No matter how intoxicated you get, you just follow it. It's just a, it's just a recipe. Without further ado, let's get high. I was thinking clearly. I knew what was going on. I was ready to go out a game plan. And then all hell broke loose. As soon as that little cheeky devil went into my lungs. <coughs> that was gonna hit me hard. <coughs> I felt the life drain from my eyeballs. I was no longer Ben. I was now a lesser version of him. This is strange, isn't it? All right, here we go. Immediate effects of weed. Mild paranoia. I feel like I've taken acid. Confusion. Mate, my hands are going all weird. <laughs> Anxiety. I just realized, this is like public speaking. Stone. <laughs> oh, geez, Rick. So when I'm put in a situation where I have to present a cooking show, it's so, you don't understand how intense it is behind all these cameras and lights. I can't even present, dude. No, you got it, you got it. I seriously, seriously contemplated doing this without talking. Here, pause it for a second. Yeah, we're paused. No, you're not paused. <laughs> <laughs> pause it for a second, mate. Just give me a reference of what's happened so far. Where's it at? It's good. It's good. It's going well. <laughs> I can't even get on to step number one. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just not going to present for a bit. I'm just not going to present. I'm just going to start doing it. First step, place butter in a saucepan with a cup of water. Okay, so chuck that in there and then I need a cup of water. I remember before this we were like, let's do something challenging. Woo! Now that we're getting to it, <clears throat> we probably should have chosen an easier recipe to follow. Profiteroles from scratch. I've never cooked anything from scratch before. I got this at a low simmer here. I'm going to add my flour and pinch of salt. I can't even read this website. It doesn't even say step one. Oh, I'm so ripped, mate. Where's step one? It doesn't even have step one. I, I swear, it didn't have step one. This is confusing. I don't know where step one is. I don't know where step one is. What, what do you think would come first? You would think turning on the oven, but it doesn't tell me. Preheat the oven to 220 degrees. All right. Okay, so it does say to do that. There's no step one. It says, okay. I'll just read it to you and then you can know how stupid it is. It says, number one, simmer butter and water. Place <laughs> no step one, number one. Place butter in a saucepan over medium heat. When mostly melted, add water and then bring it. Is that say, better? It did say what to do. I cannot do this. You got it, you got it. Can oh, I watch you do yours first? No, keep going. Fuck. This is all coming along really nicely. I'm gonna take it off the heat. So it tells me to let that cool for 10 minutes. This is all running very smoothly so far. I'm not gonna make it, dude. I'm not gonna be able to make it to the end of this. <laughs> One push from the other. The thing was, I didn't even know how many steps are in this process. I just knew that there was so much to do. Next thing you have to do is wait for your butter to melt. It's gonna take about half a decade. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> Mine is a mess. My segment of this show is a mess. Can't believe I'm baking this right now. And then I just have to wait for the next step. This is easy. For some reason, I got the idea that when I completed a step, I then had the duration of the step to relax. <laughs> Jeez, I've really got nothing to do until this thing melts. 
Step number two is waiting for you, obviously. Oh, while the liquid is simmering, add flour. I'm not prepared for the next step. Oh my God. Why don't I read ahead? Flour and salt. Oh my God, I'm way behind schedule. I'm behind schedule, mate. Oh, this is all turned to custard. It is turning into custard. <laughs> Comedic genius, oh my god. Ah, it's boiling. God, this is going mental. This is the most intense thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> this, there's no way this works. There's no way this works. Remove from heat, ah, no. I should've done that ages ago. Every task was bigger than Ben Hur. Oh, mine looks different to that. <laughs> a little baking trick that I learnt from my grandma. To get a bunch of paper like this. Take some off here and then just use that to grease up the pan. I was struggling to comprehend, why couldn't I just cut off the baking paper? What? Oh, it's got a safety thing on it. I thought I was weak. I thought I'd encountered the most challenging part of the process until I met the piping bag. So this is starting to look like a really good consistency. And now we're gonna start putting it into our piping bag. Oh no, this is cooked. It. It's glue. I've made glue. Comes out nice and slowly. And there you go, hey? I swallowed the spoon. Oh no, oh no. What if this is it? What if this is the end of the video? Because I just don't know how to make profiteroles. <laughs> All right, so now we're done. We're gonna put these in the oven for 15 minutes. And I think you squeeze it. Oh, this is going to explode. <gasps> Fuck. Fuck. How am I supposed to make these things? Do I just do this? Yeah. Oh, it's glue. That's why I didn't go through, because I made glue. Ah. I was looking for any excuse to get out of completing this task. If, like, normal mines are profiteroles, this is what my <laughs> mind looks like. stretch things have gone really well nothing went right things were either undercooked it's cold or they were burning i didn't set a timer <gasps> i've had it on grill the whole time oh no i'm an idiot the final step was combine it all together i don't know how long it's been on for i don't know how much time has passed we've come to the part of the show where we accept our losses the most important part of dessert is presentations actually they're not half bad we're gonna get some of our chocolate sauce drizzle it over the top there Douse yeah, it like this. Yeah. One on top here. So there's profiteroles cooked by someone not cooked. <laughs> I can't believe we did this. Let's never do that ever again. Yes, the recipe might have taken four times as long as it should have. And yes, we might have missed the crux of the recipe, which was the custard. But I'm, I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed that we made it to the end with a little pile of profiteroles. They weren't as delicious as Sam's profiteroles. But you know what? We stuck it out, we completed the task, and at the end of the day, I set myself up there to say something, but I didn't have anything in mind. At the end of the day, help me out here. So we completely forgot to put the scoring system in the video. We're gonna rank it off who did the best for the mind frame that they were in. So considering that Ben was completely stoned and his profiterol still looked pretty good, I'm gonna give this one to you, mate. Thanks, you take this one out. And we'll see you guys next time.